Hey everybody, Brian Hunt here with you again for another video. In this video, I am talking about Topaz Labs, their different software that they do, their different AI, and specifically their Video Enhance AI. Gonna talk through why I purchased it and how it's helping us in our productions. So full disclosure, Topaz Labs didn't ask me to do this video. They're not paying me anything to do this video. I wasn't given this software for free. I bought the software. I just wanted to make this video because it's helped us so much and we're gonna be using it more and more on our productions that we really thought I wanted to share it with you guys to let you know because this is what I love about YouTube. It was great to get information from other people on different things that they're using, different tools that they're using, different techniques that they're doing. And that community that way has really helped us as well to grow and get better. So we wanna just kind of give back, do content like this for you guys as well. So Topaz Labs. I bought this last year, Black Friday, and I had been looking at it a bunch because there were certain scenarios where I thought maybe this software could help us. I bought on a Black Friday sale, it was quite a bit cheaper, and I'm on their website now, so I got both the photo side of the products they have, they have a denoiser, they have a sharpening AI software, and they have a gigapixel, which is an uh, increasing the size of an image software. And then they have the Video Enhance AI, which does kind of all of those things with just in one thing for video files. I bought all of it. I think I got it for half price for everything. I think it was $200 or $150 for all of it. And it's really been invaluable. And really, just lately, we've used it on a project that covered the cost for it no problem. So I'm going to tell you a scenario, a couple different scenarios on why I got this. And I'm going to show you a few examples quickly. Um, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use the software. There's some really great tutorials from Topaz Labs on their YouTube page. I'll click to that. Uh, I'll link to that in the description below. Plus, you can click on the side here to some playlists. There's also some other videos from other people that go really more in depth onto the different features and different things. I'm still using those and playing with those. I'm still testing with this, seeing what's working differently. I just wanna show you out of the box or out of the download from this software, how well it works right away. So one of the things actually when got me interested in this software, the first thing was photos actually, not the video side of it because we have a scenario that happens to us quite a bit. We work in a lot of branded content things and things where we're telling stories for businesses or individuals, foundations, corporations, not-for-profits. A lot of times these are kind of documentary style stories and we need to tell a backstory about somebody or some organization or some corporation. And a lot of times we don't have footage of that or they don't have footage of what we're talking about. Or if they do have footage, it's low quality. We're gonna get into that. But a lot of times we get given photos. It's like, oh, we got photos. We have photos on that trip we went on. We have photos of our family. We have photos of whatever. And so many times we get these images and they're just really crappy resolution. Like they're really a small file. You know, they might look fine on a phone. And I think a lot of times maybe people are going onto their Facebook and like screenshotting and saving it and then sending us an image that way or they have emailed it to somebody or it's been emailed to them so the resolution's gone down already and then they've saved that somewhere. It just happens where, you know, we're working on a 4K file or 4K final delivery and we go to put this video or this photo in and it just looks like crap. And so having something where we could it blow up the image, enhance the image, denoise the image was a big thing for us that I think would really help us. And that was one of the reasons that got me to buy it. And then I started playing with the Video Enhance AI. And I have been blown away about how well that worked. And again, this has really helped us on a last project that we did. So the scenario was we were working on a kind of documentary for a company about the history of the company, an anniversary video for them. There was an interview that we did with two of the founders, members of the organization, the company, and at first, they didn't want to be on camera. They didn't want to do an interview. I kept kind of pushing to get an interview. I thought, we really need that interview. Finally, we were shooting some other stuff, and they said, they'll do the interview, but it has to be done right now. So we weren't actually prepared to do the interview at that point. We were shooting some other things. We went into a different room. They could only do it in the room that they were in. We had no time to really set up any lights. 
Um, boom, kind of get in the shot sometimes. We had them for like 15 minutes, and I had to frame them, two of them in the shot with one camera and a two-shot, but one of the person really spoke the majority of the time. So that was shot on the Sony FX6. We brought that into the Video Enhance AI software and upscaled that to 8K and blown away at how well it worked. Like, I don't know, we might start doing this with all of our footage and then just bring it back down to 4K because it worked so well. It cleaned things up. It made things look better. Really, really great. But then we were able to reframe and make the shots into singles. So we could have a, a reframed, better framing than what I had set up real quickly when I did the shot. And also framing into a single shot of each person when they were speaking. There was also footage that we got for this project that was old Super 8 film footage, but it had already been transferred. So we were hoping to get it transferred again. I've talked in a video before about getting Super 8 footage and 16 millimeter footage transferred. You can link that over here because they can make that stuff look amazing now done at proper transfer houses but this was done to like an hd image and it was also an hd image that then be uploaded to their youtube page and then i think they ripped it off their youtube page and gave it to us so it was already pretty heavily compressed plus it was smaller and so we used the video enhanced hd to upscale this footage we upscaled it like i think 400 percent to fit it in there and again it worked amazingly, amazingly well. Much better than if we were just to upscale it and make it fit in there or make a box around it with some blurred edges like some people do when you're using a much smaller resolution file in a bigger project or a bigger resolution project. So I'm just going to show you guys now some examples of how well this can work. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go and open up Topaz Labs. And again, guys, this is not a tutorial on how to use Topaz Labs. This is just to show you some quick examples of how well it works. I'm going to upload some of these clips and have a Dropbox link for you in the description below that you can download some samples of how it looked in the beginning and the size of it beginning and after it's been processed. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to bring in some footage. And this is off of a mini DV camera. And this is of my wife and I from 2004 at her home in Stellenbosch, South Africa. That's a scrub over here. So there's all these different settings here. Again, you can go into more things on this and how it can work. But we're going to go to, I'm going to say this is kind of highly compressed. And you can pick these different ones. I can say the different ones I want to try. And I want to upscale this from to 4K. So it's going to upscale it 450%. 450% is going to upscale this image. And I can do a little quick in and out point here. Let's see here. And then if I want to preview this, what we need to do is just hit preview. And there's different ways you can preview it and the different views. You can see how it's working. Preview works pretty damn quick. So we can see here. And I can just move this line back and forth and see the differences here. So, you know, this is some people might think it looks a little strange and not real in the sense of what it's doing here a bit, as you can see. But I'm going to pause it just so it's not jumping there all the time. But yeah, you can see it. This is blowing it up 450% and cleaning it up. Like it is, it's a big deal. So I'm going to export this as a clip and show you guys how much better it looks than the original one. Another scenario where we're going to be using this software quite a bit is from footage we have shot in the past. So on different cameras, there's lots of stuff we shot not that long ago, maybe five, six years ago when we were shooting slow-mo and it had to be in 720p or 1080p. We couldn't do 120 frames per second in um, 4K. There's stuff from before that where I was shooting on the Sony FS700 and we we're shooting everything 1080. And I still have some beautiful stuff from that. So I'm going to show you here. So this was shot in a Sony a7 III, I believe, at 120 frames per second. So that does that at 
720p on that camera? Was that the right camera? Maybe it was a different Sony camera. I can't remember exactly which camera it is, but I know it's a 720p image, and it was 120 frames per second. And I want this to make it look better. So I'm going to upscale this to uh, 4K. I'm going to say, what was the video like? It is, you know, I wouldn't say it's highly compressed. Again, there is noise on it. Yeah, let's see here. And let's preview this. So look at that. That's the difference here. Look at, that, look at that detail difference here. Look at, let's just stop this. It's still rendering, sorry. But let's go, let's go 100%. So the left is the before, and this is the right is the after. And you can see that difference there. Again, I'm going to export this clip. You guys can try it out, look at it, see what you think about it. Close that. So the next thing I want to show you guys is an example of upscaling a photo. So a scenario from when I was talking about in the beginning of the video of when we get really low size photos, low quality photos, how we can upscale those and make those look really much better uh, using this for in our videos. Um, this software is used a ton by you know, wildlife photographers, people around doing stuff like that because it can do such great things to enhance their image and especially take out noise and crop it on an image. But again, I'm talking about video stuff here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring this over. So this is a very low resolution, very small file of my wife and I. I think I had only could find it on Facebook. Um, this is from before Facebook, actually, and before mobile phones is from 2004 and I'm just going to pick a standard thing here I'm going to go I want to increase the size to four times the size and it's updating a preview right now it says updated and we can look at the difference here like look at that my wife's face there the noise the pixels the blocking there how well my face there how well that has worked to clean that up like that is a big difference and then now we've taken an image that we made it four times bigger we made it four times bigger and now we can use this in our productions and make it look way better so guys let me know in the comments below are you using this software already are you curious to use about using this software do you have any either examples or tips and tricks that you would think that we'd like to share with other people things I should be trying, things that other people should be trying to use this software. Has there different, been different scenarios where you've used it or you could see yourself using it to help with different things? Be great if everybody makes comments on these things. It really helps for us to see and to grow and to learn and to get some ideas for new content and trying things out. Thanks so much, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Think of subscribing to the channel and we will see you on the next one.